creative peeps and welcome back to my channel for another video today we're doing a real-time journal with me so grab yourself a drink and a snack in your journal and we'll get into it so I thought it would be fun to start my May journal together um, I'm gonna show you a really quick setup first and then we'll get into it you will see the flip through of my April pages next week but um, I thought it was overdue time for a journal with me. So here we go. Um, this is the same cover that I was using uh, last month. It is just a brown traveler's notebook for my maker who doesn't make things anymore. Um, and then I have this lovely charm that Katya made me. She sent me a bunch of things in a pen pal package before I bought the journal from her. So I just kind of used them all together to set up this journal. So thank you Katya if you watch this. Usually she does. Um, so in the front here I just have the letter that she sent me when I purchased my journal. So I want to put that in my journal. Um, so I just kind of tuck things in here that I want to go in there. I did include several more folders and wallets in here um, from last setup. So I have this zip folder here. Um, this one is from Dilutions, I believe. Yep. Um, and I'll try to leave one of those linked below for you. They're like $3 or something and they're amazing. So I have this uh, beautiful Mixpedia piece she sent me. And I thought the gold went perfect with the Egypt theme. I have, of course, photos in here to journal as usual. So those live in there. Then next I have a gorgeous folder she made me of this awesome like textured blue paper and it's very mermaidy and I love it. Um, so that's there. There's some stuff. She's stuffed it. So I left all of the things she stuffed it with in here so that I could use them in my journal. I have a um, Eye of Horus card. This is from, <clears throat> excuse me, a Alex and Annie bracelet that I own. I used to work at a gift shop that sold these when they were super popular. So I have a couple of them. And I had kept this card because I want, I like the Eye of Horse and I want to get an Eye of Horse tattoo. So I figured this would be the perfect journal to put that in. And then just some extra scrap paper that's been floating around. And then the journal that you saw me flip through is in here. Um, if you missed that video, I'll leave it linked above for you. But that is the journal that I purchased from her, which we're going to be working in. And then I just have my folders from my other setup. I have pockets with more goodies that she sent me. I have some journaling cards and some stickers and labels and a vellum envelope and then I, in here I have a bunch of numbers um, for dates and stuff and that's it. <clears throat> so um, usually I like to take this out when I work in it so I think that's what we're going to do and then I just use the rest of it as like my ephemera organizer on the side. <clears throat> So I have a pile of stuff I want to journal here. I have an image, some photos, the thing from Katya. I have a buy bun printable. This is from her uh, Patreon. Once she opened a Patreon, I had to become a patron, and she offered this printable. So I was very happy about that. So we're just going to cut that up and then I have um, a mermaid scale drawing which we're going to talk about in a second when I journal that. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe I'll put this on the cover, we'll see, but that was a thought that just occurred to me. It looks pretty cool. It's not exactly a, <clears throat> excuse me, I have something stuck in my throat. 
it's not exactly like it's not a piece I did, but um, I don't normally scan anything out of this creative journal to give to anyone. Like I never make it digital or anything, so I can totally use it and not have to worry too much. I'm going to stick this in here just because I like looking at it. And if I end up using it, I end up using it. I'm pretty sure I want to put that there. But not positive. <laughs> Alright, we'll come back to that. So, opening her up. I did put my calendar in here and I am journaling on this day here so I'm just gonna go we'll just start with that we'll start with my I journaled today sticker and we're going with purple this month last month we did blue these stickers were sent to me so I'm not sure where they're from and my apologies for that but there we are let's see I really want to this is the three tiered pocket here we go here's a single pocket is it a little too it's a little wide for the journal but could still work just love this three-tiered pocket. Sorry, I'm a little all over the place today, but you guys like seeing my process usually. So that's that's what we're doing today. I'm gonna paper clip this on, I think. Originally I was going to do like a pocket thing, but I think maybe I'll just paper clip it on. So let's get my paper clip drawer. Excuse my head or whatever you saw there. <laughs> I have upgraded to a straight overhead shot. So let me know if you can tell the difference in this um, in this journal with me here. I would love to know. Because a lot of people for a long time have been complaining about, because I had to tilt the camera angle a little bit to make it so the tripod feet didn't go in the shot. And of course that hurts some people's eyes. It made their like necks weird or whatever. So hopefully those days are behind us. I like this. Do kind of like a journaling friends across the world type thing. I'm gonna glue that there. And by glue I mean tape. this paper is raised it's really cool let's see is there anything in here oh no that's right it's a journaling spot which I really like so we'll leave that there do we start with a selfie or pizza I mean that's a pretty hard toss up I also have this really cool image that I want to include kind of like this already making a tip in first page in right classically in and I want to get um, the Egyptian tape and 
one of my lovely pen pals sent this to me a little while ago so it's kind of like you know the perfect the perfect timing to use it that and there's this now one of my goals this month and is part of my monthly challenge that I host every month over on patreon is to use scraps so I think I'm going to use some scraps to back the back of this tip in and then I'm going to put um, one of these secret journaling spots over it. Because I have something that I want, personal, that I want to write about this image here. So this is my giant scrap bin. <clears throat> Excuse me which I believe you saw in the take five tag video where we can do this I kinda like that the greens still there and I feel like the gold really goes with the journal although I do also like this I think maybe I'll do that. Yeah, let's do that. I hope you are all having a wonderful weekend. that you did something fun. This is my fun for the weekend. <laughs> Journaling. Okay. And I just want to cover up their faces, basically. So there's that. And then... I don't really like any of these for that. So let me get my other ones. I was pretty sure I had four sheets, but I'm un I'm unaware of where they've gone. Maybe I sent them in mail. I don't know. But I like this one here. Um, yeah. There we go. Be fearless in the pursuit of what sets your soul on fire in case you can't read it from there. <laughs> Put this back in the scrap bin. Okay, so we have that there, and I'm going to journal under it. Oh, come on. There we go. So there's that. And then we're going to put this here. I'd love 
love to find, well not find, but make a word, a word like poem thing that like I usually make, or that like I frequently make I should say, um, on the front of that card there. So let's get part in my phone. Small task. Oops. You stay. Okay. With brave wings she flies. Hold tight and pretend it's a plan. Be open to whatever comes next. And I need a star there. Let me just go grab my sticker bin just just because, you know, that's where this is heading. Okay, I have my sticker organizer over here. So, got a star. A fairly, fairly large star. Not too flashy. That's too big, I think, though. Ooh, crystals. I like the crystals, but not for this spread. Not those. Too much glitter. Why are they all so shiny? Maybe one of those. I don't want anything bumpy. Maybe this one? This one. Ta-da! So we have that there. I bet there were some in the icon store, which were more what I was looking for, but oh well. All right, so there's that. We have that. I feel like I'm gonna wanna put something else here. Let's see what we have for Maybe like a plant or something. That dreamer could be nice with the teepee. They'll be hard to see because they're clear, but there. Kind of goes with that and fills up the space. Okay, moving on. I think I want to put this here. Oops, not quite the way I meant to rip it, but that's okay. And I want to paint, like put some paint over there. I think. Just glue this down first. And 
will tape the picture down. So I feel like we're doing a lot of neutrals. Not that I don't like neutrals, but I just need I need some color. Oops, I should have taken the tape off the other one first. big talk snarkies. Let's see. This is definitely me right now. I made a huge to-do list for today. Just can't figure out who's going to do it. Oh my gosh. It's not wide enough. Is it? Barely. Just barely. I think it'll be okay. Yeah. Perfect. And I feel like I want to put May right there. Ah. That was my finger. Um, <laughs> I want to put May there because that's what I made the drawing to do list for was for May. Is this the one that I want? No, it's not the one I was thinking of. It's a Chrissy and Designs one. Here we go. Okay. Okay, so um, it, I'm inserting this in the middle, so if you look lost, you didn't miss anything. Um, but I forgot to talk about this. So this is a design that I made during last week's video I showed you guys how to make easy mermaid scales and I am turning this design into a vinyl sticker that is exclusive to Patreon. So if you want to get a copy of this sticker all you have to do is be a part of my vid squad tier or higher over on Patreon in the month of May and these will be shipped out on June 1st. A lot of people are asking me if I would please bring them to the shop. Um, these will stay exclusive to this single month Patreon release. So if you want one, that's the only way to get one It because it's exclusive. I will probably do some type of mermaid vinyl sticker in the future. Um, but for now, this is to celebrate my one year over on Patreon. So it doesn't make sense to offer something exclusive and then bring it to the shop. So there's that. But I'm super excited to get these. Once I receive this sample, I will be showing it to you guys. That may be before or after this video. I'm not sure. If you want more information about my Patreon, you can find it in the description box below. Um, I try not to talk about Patreon too much past thanking my patrons because they really are the ones who make it possible um, to make videos here on YouTube. Uh, for free for you guys. They help me do this creative thing for a living and I honestly can't thank them enough. Without them I would not be able to pay my bills <laughs> or try new art supplies. So yeah, thank you. Thank you to my patrons if you have been a patron before or thinking about being a patron um, or are now. Just thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I really, honestly, truly appreciate all of your support. Um, so, yeah, this sticker might be a little smaller than this, but this might should be around, around the right size. 
Um, and if when you do join Patreon, you get all of my back content. I don't delete any. So if you were to join today, you can actually watch a full year's worth of videos and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, just wanted to quickly include that. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put this. Um, I might just stick it in this paper clip for now, maybe not, <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to mention that because obviously if you guys don't hear about it, then you'll not know that that's a thing. So, okay, back to the journaling. I don't want white. Maybe the black. I think that might be my only choice. Yep. Oops. Down here. May with a heart. Sweet. Okay. Now. That's good, that's good. I need some kind of pattern. I don't quite want to do stars. Hmm. You know what? I could use a stencil, couldn't I? Okay, I either want to do this hexagon stencil or this like fish nitty. Maybe this one. Hmm. All right, let's grab my paint marker. I think I just want to do, I was gonna do the coral, but I think the tip's too big. So we'll just, I'm just going to outline them and then later when I get bored I can color them in. Hopefully this isn't too boring for you. I just want to go around the photo. Like so. Maybe just a few stragglers down here.
and then end it hiding behind this uh, piece here. And then I'm just going to do some over here because you want to continue it down the page. I don't want it to look like it's just in that one random spot. So I don't need a lot, just enough to give the illusion that it's actually over and behind the photo, like that. And then just a little cluster down here. Like so. Perfect. And just going to color a couple in just so you can get the idea of what it'll look like once we're done. These are the Dilutions paint pens, which to be honest, before I had some when they originally came out years ago and they drove me insane because they never like I always destroyed them but I have to say this set that I got oh gosh I think I got this set last year um they still work like they and I haven't used this pen for months and it's working so I definitely have reevaluated my opinion on them, and I'm not. Their Poscas are still my go to, but these are definitely becoming a close second. So much so that I may. Um, might debate on investing in some more. This is really fun. <laughs> okay. Um, but like I said, I'm going to stop there and, um, you'll see probably a picture at the end of how that came out. They dry relatively quickly, so I'm just going to wait a couple seconds. Yeah, like those are already, yeah, cool. And then pizza. I wish I had like a little photo, a little Polaroid frame to make one. Let's look through this scrap bin. Maybe I could make one out of this. like so but basically I have to cut a hole in it in order to do that And it's got to be smaller than the marks. But not so small that it takes away from the photo.
And I can always trim more out if I need to. There's that. The top is a little janky. Oh, this is a flip. Sweet, that's perfect. I was going to put it like way up there. That's pretty, pretty damn near perfect actually. I don't know if I like it though. Yeah. If I just put it over it. Or I could put it like this. Do I like that? Kinda. I don't like these circle things. I think that's what's bothering me. And then put a layering element behind there. I like that. That looks cool. We're doing it. I'm going to attach those layers together. Like so. So that I don't lose where they are. All right. Then we're just going to do where's my little glue just gonna glue on the back here so that these layers stay together even though you know Usually I'd use tape, but seems like a, a glue situation. Ta-da! Super cool. And then I know, I know I saw a pizza sticker. But which category is the question? Because it was on another sheet. Yeah, I think it was in here. There's an Amy Tan sticker. Oh, come on. Now that I want it. Oh, here it is. And 
I'm going to put this here to do the date stamp. And then I know that I have like a pizza night sticker. Right there. Awesome. And that was yesterday, so I don't even have to look up the date, which is awesome. The fourth. I helped my aunt um, do some work outside at her friend's house, and then I had to go all the way to um, my work, which was in the direct opposite direction by like an hour, um, to do just one really quick thing. So she got both of us pizza and then drove me all the way there. So bless Jeannie's little heart. Um, so yeah, there's that. And I'll probably journal just a little bit about that right there. And yeah, I think that's it for this journaling session. Okay, so I thought I was done, but I put the pink, um, pink pen there and I had this idea that I thought I might want to put some yellow, like a yellow shadow. So I'm just going to test it out first on this piece of paper. And of course, I just talked about how these always work. Sometimes they get a little like dried paint on it. Oh my gosh. Why? 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 This is insane. I can't believe this happened. I just used it to do all that like seconds ago. This is insane. Okay. Should I just do it? I'm not going to do them to every single one. Just most of them, right? I'm sorry, I have a group chat thing going and it's really annoying. But obviously I have to read them and respond so I can't just turn it off. Um. glad I did that even though I couldn't test it all right back back to finishing up the spread all right I think I'm done for today officially so we'll just flip through what I did I hope you guys enjoyed 
my journaling session. I ended up, well, after I journaled, I drew a box around it and then took my Posca pen and made some blocks and just outlined those. That was a lot of fun. I'm really having fun with the graphic patterns. So that was that, and then I glued my mermaid scale printout there. And that is it. Thank you guys so much for journaling with me today. I have no idea how long this has been, but I'm sure it was a long one. So if you stuck around until the end, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, guys. Bye.